gonna go ahead and read this thing. I don't remember what this quest does exactly. Uh, like I said, I haven't played this game since December. So, I, uh, I guess I'll find out eventually. But I'm just gonna go ahead and take it anyway. I'm probably not gonna be doing it. So, let's check out what Bronca's got here. She usually doesn't have anything all that great that I can remember anyway. There's some mace. Armor kind of sucks. I take those runestones though. And yeah, that mace is not all that impressed with, but I'll take it anyway. Well, I guess I'll take a look at the stats on her shield. Yeah, the wooden shield is much, much better. So, here we go. Another life lost because of my invention. I wish no mention of it had made it into history. Yeah, you ain't kidding, stupid woman. Always knew the Anvil would kill her. But at least it ends here. I thank you for standing with me, stranger. The Anvil waits there for you to shatter it. It was good to meet you, Paragon. I intend to ensure that your warnings about the Golems are heard by the Circle of Magi. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? Yeah. I don't suppose you can bring Bronca back. Maybe make her a Golem like you. I would not do such a thing to her, even if I could. Somehow, I didn't think so. Well, and I don't want anything that would remind me of this. Best it's just done. There is still the matter of the election. I mean, we still need a paragon to get the assembly support, right? For the aid you've given me, I shall put hammer to steel one last time, and give you a crown for the king of your choice. I guess he doesn't want to go on any longer. I mean, he should be free now, though, right? Nobody can make any more golems. Why did he kill himself? I, I don't get it. Anyway, let's take a look at what's inside his chest here. Hmm. Some decent stuff, I guess. Some gifts. That diamond is really nothing. It's just some vendor stuff you can sell to get gold. Heading out to the assembly to select the new king here. Well, that pretty much beat the sod out of how I imagined it. You ready to head back yet and share the news? Yeah, those Deshiers have been trying to destroy the city for years. Haven't managed yet. Mm. 
Now, I'm probably going to nominate Haramont. I uh, usually nominate the other guy when I play through here, but you know, this would be my first time nominating Haramont, so let's see what happens. I, I don't really know what's going to happen, but I guess we'll see. Lords of the Assembly, I call for order. This argument gets us nowhere. Then why these delaying tactics? I call for a vote right now. My father has one living child to assume the Idukan throne. Who would deny him that? Your father made me swear on his deathbed you would not succeed him. I apologize for the interruption, Lord Stewart, but the Grey Warden has returned. We should let the Warden speak. What news do you bring? Keridan was trapped in the body of a golem. This Warden granted him the mercy he sought, releasing him and destroying the Anvil of the Void. Before he died, Keridan forged a crown for Orzammar's next king, chosen by the ancestors themselves. And we are supposed to trust this? The word of a drunken sot and a Grey Warden known to be in Harrowmont's pocket? Silence! This crown is of Paragon make, and bears House Ortan's ancient seal. Tell us, Warden, whom did Keridan choose? The Grey Warden knows nothing about us. Why would a Paragon entrust someone like this with such a weighty decision? This is ridiculous! We've argued in these chambers for too long. The will of the Paragon is that the Grey Warden decide. I appreciate your forthrightness, Warden. You have acted with grace through this entire torturous process. Let the memories find you worthy. First amidst the lords of the houses, and the king of Osmar. I will not abide by this! The ancestors have spoken! Would you let a surfacer decide the fate of the dwarves? Watch out! They brought weapons! Guards! <laughs> 